He's got like an okay chin. It's okay. It's not good. But I wouldn't say it's it's terrible. Volk wet, met up with Saladino. He's winning by first round KO. Man, I'd love for Volk. If Volkanovski actually wins this fight, no matter how he gets it done outside of a robbery, honestly, guys, that, that may be the best night of my entire life. Or no, no, not, not the best night of my entire life. But it, it, it will be the best night of my entire life as a UFC fan by far. By far. And you know what? It will be one of the best moments of my life. I know how sad that seems, but it's just, dude, I already dedicate a lot of my time to MMA. Is it that pathetic to even say that? <laughs> Bro is living through Volk. You know, it's like, well, what, what am I supposed to pretend that MMA is not important? No, no. Uh, the best night of my life is one time when I was drinking brewskis and eating pizza and hanging out with some broads. Sure. Sure, man. There have been some good nights. Don't get me wrong. There have been some great nights. I've had some fantastic nights that are more meaningful than just going out and partying. And there have been some good nights where I'm partying. But like, it would be one of the best nights of my life if Volkanovski won. It's definitely up there. I'm I'm going to have to, to muzz to bring myself back down to earth. Because <laughs> that's the sacrifice that I'm willing to make. I'll muzz if Volkanovski wins. I'll probably be happy enough to do it anyway. Because if he wins, I mean... I'm I'm going to I'm going to have a drink of me. I'm not going to drink actually. I think I am going to go forever without drinking again. But uh I'll celebrate. The first thing I did after what's his name? The first thing I did after Strickland beat Izzy when I turned off my live stream in off when I turned my live stream off. Before I filmed my recap video, I poured a, a shot of whiskey. I put in my earbuds and I started listening to that Earth Wind and Fire September. And I was freaking snapping my fingers, man. I was doing all these over-exaggerated dance moves, stupid facial expressions. I was just fucking elated, man. I was elated, all right? That's, that was the best feeling ever. Same thing when Pereira knocked Izzy out too. Same thing. I got right on TikTok and started bragging and boasting to all the Adesanya fans because I picked the underdog there. 70% of people were going with Izzy. I was just feeling, I was just feeling great, all right? The next day, li listening to that fucking good old classic 70s music. So... I can't wait. I can't wait. If he loses, though, life is going to suck because that's basically what I expect. Nothing change. If Taporia beats him, nothing changes. Actually, things get worse, a little bit worse, but they will be as I expect. That's why I keep saying things like the MMA gods are